I actually made the video you're about to see last night and then I thought about it and I said, well, you know, it's been, well, I guess almost, well, over a, a month now since, well, I lost the footage. <laughs> and so I, I was going, where the heck did I do with the, all those clips that I made coming home from uh, the uh, purple state of Virginia? Uh, of course, if you in Charlottesville, the blue state of Virginia. And uh, and then so I I was watching it laughing, you know, thinking, God, man, I remember that. It was one hell of a journey. So I thought I'd just do a quick introduction. So this takes place. I had been staying at a friend's house in uh, in North Carolina, Cary, and I, you know, I was I, at that time. I was still. I mean, I'm pretty messed up now. You think I'm messed up now? <laughs> Back then. <laughs> Oh my God, I, I, I couldn't, I mean, like, you know, when I first got to Florida, for example, I'm working on the cabinets and I couldn't get up off the floor, you know, it was just crazy stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I was weak as a kitten, just did, well, when you break your neck, man, it's a long recovery period. All right, so, uh, <clears throat> so this video kind of picks up uh, of me, I, I, I ran into a lot of traffic in North Carolina, and I made it to the uh, to the border there in South Carolina. Now, one story I haven't told uh, was, you know, because a lot of people were worried about me making a trip like that in the condition I was in. And at the time, I thought, you know what, I'm good enough to, to, to get my butt to Florida. And, but I wasn't expecting heavy traffic, and nor was I expecting bad weather, <laughs> you know, and so, and, or construction. I mean, anyway, it was just a gosh dang nightmare of a trip. Even, even if I'd been 100% healthy, it would have been a tough trip. But I did break up. I mean, I had to break up the trip into, in, into pieces. And so there's some funny stories along the way and dangerous. Uh, so just as I got near South Carolina, I don't know what happened, was the cars in front of me slammed on the brakes. Now, I had the automatic cruise control on with the, you know, where it does the uh, automatic uh, braking and everything. Well, that just, it won't stop the car. I mean, I was going to slam, I was, I was still doing about 30 miles an hour and I couldn't, I couldn't avoid the car in front of me. Because, you know, I, I, had, I took control at that point and they do warn you in the manual, you know, your automatic braking is not meant to be a substitute for the driver. No, it's not. <laughs> so, I, and I got damn lucky. I mean, I could have bailed onto the left shoulder, and I, but I probably would have done some damage to the car. Uh, but instead, the right lane was open, and I was able to bail into the right lane. But to tell you how fast I was going, I probably went about five, six, ten car lengths before I got my car to a stop. So if I had hit the car in front of me, I would have gone right through that car, probably killed them and me, and then maybe even plowed their car into the next car, maybe even to the next car following that. So, uh, and boy, you know, when you're when you're not at a hundred percent, you know, your reaction time. I mean, luckily I had the cruise control set to the max, so my reaction period, you know, was long enough that I was able to react. But I mean, and so this is this is why when people are tailgating, I, I don't get it. But so that was one little quick story. So the video kind of starts out with me getting to the uh, uh, South Carolina, and I had just crossed over, so, and I wanted to go down into south of the border, but I was, God, I was thinking, God, I'm tired already, because, you know, I, I, because I, I wanted to go down in there. We used to stop there when I was a kid and buy fireworks, and it's all just, it's a dust bowl now, but, but the empty buildings are still there, and I was going to go in and and just make a video about that, but uh, I decided against it. I just kept going, and so I got to the South Carolina uh, rest stop, and that's where I made the, uh, the the picture of the South Carolina sign uh, because I was celebrating each state as I moved further south. Uh, it was it was a beautiful thing, and then of course you know I got to Georgia uh, without too much incident. South Carolina was a pretty easy drive. Um, you know, got across Georgia. Uh, now, there was a point, well, a couple funny stories is, okay, you know, I've got to, just like anybody else, i got to go to the bathroom, right? And so the brain don't talk to the doodad, and so I, I have to sit on a stool. So when I would go into the rest stop, I'm carrying a stool with me. And you know what? Nobody ever asked me, why the hell is that guy carrying a stool into the bathroom, you know? 
oh my god and so you know and then i do my thing and come out and you know and then but i tell you what that was where them baby uh, tables came in handy because you know i'd have to pop the legs out on the stool and then push them back uh, i damn it i should i should get the stool it's right in, in my bathroom here i uh well hell let me do that <laughs> hold on so the power of editing <laughs> you're just picking up where i went to go get the stool so this is the stool so here i am hiking into the rest stops with the stool in my hand now see what i'm saying is the legs you know they move up and down you know which is nice so when i in the car because i didn't have room i didn't have room for the stool in the car because i was bringing everything uh some stuff home from my mom's house and what was left of my stuff that didn't get stolen by the uh, real estate person believe me they stole a lot of my stuff up in lynchburg virginia you know when you fall down the stairs and people take over your life afterwards they uh, they take everything uh and i had some nice stuff radios walkman um i mean you know i so far i've tallied up anyway a couple couple thousand dollars worth of stuff they stole from me all right so let's get into uh so that was just the, the funny part of the story well then i got into a rainstorm so i pulled over and i was just i was so tired i took a nap in the car and i don't know about you but boy even in a dilapidated condition you know you wake up by it, it gives you rejuvenation so then the, the the next scene is me getting to florida and and i told everybody in virginia for two and a half months i said if i ever get back to florida i'm gonna butt rub the Florida sign. <laughs> that's what that. That's what that whole piece of the video is about. And then it goes into a clip. I ran into another storm just to, right at Jacksonville, Florida, and they're doing construction around there. So gosh, dang! I was thinking, oh my God, I, I was only doing like five miles an hour. I mean, it was. Well, you'll see the video is pouring down. I'm thinking, I'm never going to get home because see, once you get to Florida, I still got another three hours to go. And at that point, you know, and oh my goodness and then the, the final funny scene which i didn't get on the on the video i wish i had i just didn't want to you know freak people i freaked people out enough was i was i couldn't make it home i was trying to make it home but i had to go so bad and so i pulled into a this redneck i, I say redneck uh, shell station because they had bars on the windows and i'm thinking my god i'm out here in the country and they got bars on the windows i wonder you know and uh, it actually, I, when I got in there, and of course I'm carrying the stool again, <laughs> along with my, my supplies. Now you gotta remember, it's not just the stool, it's the bag of supplies that you need that you gotta take care of business. Turns out that was one of the cleanest bathrooms I'd ever seen. I, it was a beautiful thing. And then of course I got home. So let's just watch the video and enjoy. Peace out, stay free. And if you're Democrat, go to New York, go to California. Don't come to Florida. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> So here I am in South Carolina, on my journey back to Florida. I apologize that, uh, that the upward motion of the camera earlier in the video, I, I didn't really notice it until I got it on the big screen. <laughs> I actually took the video down, but unfortunately five people saw it before I could take it down. So I'm going to edit that video and tack this on to it, but wait, I'm going to go state by state. So this is South Carolina, we've made it through, stayed at my buddy's house, gave me a couple of days. Uh, so there's the welcome center. Now I missed the, it would have been cool to pull over at south of the border. Um, man, when I was a kid, that was the place you'd stop to get fireworks and it's just deserted now. And uh, it would have been cool to just kind of roam around in there and look at it. But, uh, you know, it's real important after breaking my neck that I stop pretty often because, man, I tell you, my legs just... It, it locks up. I mean, I, look, I don't even know how you. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. There's some characters in movies that you know where your knees lock backwards and you stand there and you go like, "Wow, what the hell? What's wrong with my legs? I can't make them work." But anyway, this is it. We're in South Carolina. Woohoo! On our way to free state of Florida. No, I'm not kissing the ground here yet, but we will when we get to Florida. Seven months, baby! Can't wait to see my house. Peace out. So you know these videos are about life's journey. <clears throat> so here I am at a rest stop. And, you know, I mean, I don't care whether you got a colonoscopy bag or... 
in my case I gotta drain the lizard with the uh, with the cat here uh, so I bought this stool along now I'm gonna freak some people out they're like what the hell is this guy carrying a stool into the rest stop <laughs> and, then, and then of course I packed my supplies in here got a couple couple casts uh, some some jelly in there you know and uh, so now I'm gonna go in here and uh, do my thing luckily uh, they should have a um, handicap stall uh, Everybody's still in South Carolina. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm gonna make it, but Georgia's a long drive. But I got all day. You know, I got an early start this morning, and I dare say I'm about halfway at this point. And uh, you know, as long as I just keep pulling over and uh, stretching my legs and you know, drinking some liquids and uh, getting a little food, I'm think we're gonna make it. Hopefully, I don't know. If I get too tired, I will pull over. That's the same as driving drunk. You don't want to drive impaired people. All right. All right, all done with that task. Didn't get too many weird looks. Note to self, put the uh, stool a little closer to the toilet. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, you know what? Remember back when uh, those baby stations used to be women's work? Well, I'll tell you what, they come in handy now. Let's see, Greg Gutfield, a uh, sexist might say. All right, man, let's continue on the journey. Georgia, here I come, and then to the free state of Florida. Well, I made it to Georgia, but I don't get it, man. It was stop and go the whole way through South Carolina. I thought the Sunday after July 4th, there wouldn't be no doggone traffic. I don't even know what time it is. It's getting to be about five o'clock. I mean, good Lord, I got on the road at nine o'clock this morning. Anyway, uh, figure I'll hang out here at the rest stop for a little bit and, and we'll see how it goes. But look, I mean, you know, as soon as I cross the border, no traffic. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But, uh, oh yeah, I was almost in my 29th car accident. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't, you know, I was just cruising along with the cruise control and usually it does real good, but the, I mean, the traffic in front of me just slammed on the brakes and I, I didn't even have time to react, man. I mean, even with that safe, well, thank God I had a safe following distance, you know, because I got it set to the max on the cruise control with the radar and uh, no way, no way I could stop, man. I just, I, I, I kind of glanced to the right and the lane was open and boom, I just swerved and barely missed the car in front of me. I would have plowed into them easily about 30, 40 miles an hour. Thank God. I mean, that probably would have snapped my neck again and, well, I'd probably be dead. Whew, I tell you, I don't understand it. Seems like I got a guardian angel just keeps looking out for me and I went down that right lane and just slowed down. But if that right lane hadn't been there, I don't know, I would have had to bail onto the shoulder. But look at the traffic. There's nothing here. I mean, you know, everything's moving. All right, peace out.
No, can't snuff the Florida man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let's see, 28 car accidents, almost 29 today. Uh, cancer twice. Ooh, many trips to the emergency room. I think there's I had 17 or 19 surgeries, five or six major surgeries, uh, death-defined sur surgeries, uh, one broken neck, broken collarbone, broken rib in the latest incident. But you can't stop the Florida man. Florida man, Florida man. He is free to do as he wants, yes. Welcome to the free state of Florida. Peace out. So it occurred to me that someone watching this video might be wondering <laughs> what the hell that was all about. Seven months, seven months of hell culminating with two months in, in, uh, in the hospital with a broken neck. I didn't think I'd ever see Florida again, the free state of Florida. Now, should I have driven straight through? Probably not, but the weather was great. And I think because I am sitting down, I'm just not that tired as I usually get, you know, this, at this prolonged end of the day. Plus, can you imagine what it's gonna be like watching my own TV in my own Florida room at my own house? I, 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 anyway, peace out, stay free, and uh, Florida man is here. We got some big adventures coming up. I, I figure what I'm going to do with the channel at this point is just uh, house projects. I'm going to put in some uh, impact resistant windows. I'll get those on the video. We'll talk about those and the importance and why I'm doing it here in Florida. And then I'm going to put in a uh, hydroponic garden in my bird cage and. Uh, well, that's it for the house. I mean, there's nothing left to do. Uh, probably talk about um, some of the things that I'm buying or replacing because they threw everything amount away up in Virginia. Uh, so I did, didn't care nothing for my Yeti bottles. By the way, two bottles, 90 bucks. Uh, a couple pillows at Walmart, $52. You know, this, this is the stuff they threw away, the real estate agent and my uh, adopted stepsister. I, I hold them both responsible. Uh, it, the list will go on. Um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff because uh, I was prepared for some uh, camping. I was hoping to do some uh, some real hiking. We did some hiking up in Virginia. Uh, at least that was the good part until the two months laying in the uh, in the hospital bed. Anyway, you can see me the difficulty I had getting up there. I'm still not. I mean, I got a long long recovery process. I'm just looking forward to just laying in my house for the next three days and just piddling, mainly just unpacking the car. I'd, whatever. Peace out, stay free, and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna have some good videos. Bye bye. Uh, I wanted to finish the video with this. Note to self take shorts off at rest stop before you uh, cat into the toilet. Because uh, old people, I guess they drip all over the floor and uh, the smell of urine was pretty strong on the way uh, from, from uh, what was that, South Carolina to uh, Florida. Just, a, just an FYI, you know. Strip naked, run around the bathroom, freak everybody out. That's what I'll do next time. All right, man. Peace out. I want to show you. They're trying to keep me from home. I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping. I'm getting home. No matter what. This is nothing. It was coming down harder just a little while ago.